Okay, so for this project, what we're going to do is we're going to create a garden. First thing we're going to do is we're going to color in some grass. And I like to use these up and down lines because it makes it look more like grass. Then we're going to create some flowers. And we're going to start with just creating stems of the flowers. And they can be different heights. Some can be small and some can be tall. Some can be just right in the middle. Now, we're just going to create the stems and the grass. And that's the only thing we're going to draw. From here on out, we're going to use our thumbs. And we're going to use our thumbs to create the rest of the flowers. So I'm going to use red. And I'm still going to use my marker, but I'm going to use my thumb. And I'm going to color my thumb in. And while the ink is still wet, you push it down. And I'm going to make my whole flower red. So I'm just going to keep coloring it over. Because you can't do it twice then. See, it doesn't show up as well. And then once your flower is done, cap your marker again, and then with the wipe, just clean off the marker. Now we're using washable markers, so it should for the most part wash right off. If you don't get it all off, that's okay. We'll get it off with soap and water later. And then dry it off a little bit, and then you can, even though my thumb's still red, I can get my next color. I'm going to just show you, I'm going to fast forward real quick and show you how I do all my, th my flowers by using a marker, washable markers, and um, my thumbprints or my fingerprints. Flowers are not the only things that we find in gardens. We can also find lots of different kinds of bugs. So you can also make fingerprints and thumbprints of different bugs. One, two, three little body parts. And then, now I can use my black and I can add some details. And I'm going to add six little legs and some little antennas and a little smiley face. And there I have a little ant. See? I have a little ant right there. And I can do other bugs too. I can do a flying bug right here and then add my marker. And I made a little butterfly. I can also make, I could use yellow in my thumb. And guess what I'm going to make with yellow? And my black marker.
a little bumblebee. So you can make flowers, you can make bugs. You can also come back and draw in some petals. But remember, for the most part, we're using our thumbs, okay? In fact, you could even use your finger, you could use your little finger to make the petals. That looks great to use your little finger to make the little petals. Looks a lot, a lot cooler, a lot funner than just to color it in, especially for this project. And then when your garden's all done, you're all done. And just try to rub off as much of the marker as you can with a wipe. You're not gonna get all of it, but you know what? That marker will probably be gone by the tomorrow. And we're not gonna worry about it because we get a little bit messy in art and that's really just not too bad.